All right, my name is Raido, and in this video, I will show you some advanced stuff in terms of IFC files. As you know, and as I showed you previously, you can fix some coordination issues from the base software itself. So if I have, for example, IFC structure, in this example, it is a breach structure. And if I see that something is wrong in terms of coordinates, I can, of course, fix those coordination issues. In this example, I have fixed those issues directly using Viasus VDC Explorer coordination software package. By fixing, I mean that I will shift my bridge structure in terms of X, Y and Z. Of course, I can fix those issues directly in base software. And in previous video, I showed you how I can fix it in Autodesk Revit. Sometimes you don't have access to base software or let's say you don't have access to this software package in where this bridge was built. For example, you don't have access to Autodesk Revit software, but you have your IFC file and you want to edit this IFC file directly so that you don't have to use those shifting values anymore in here. How you can do it? It's quite an easy workflow, but of course it needs some base understanding of IFC files. Okay, let's try to find our IFC file in my computer. So I will close this dialog and then I will just open my explorer and let's see, here it is, proposed structure bridge IFC. And I will open it using my regular notepad. So right click and I will use notepad++ and edit it. Currently, IFC files are quite often constructed line by line. It means that one line is referencing to another line. And of course, it means that uh, those numbers are very important because when you scroll down, you can see that uh, different parameters or values are referencing to another number or line. When it comes to shifting our model, we need to understand how IFC files are constructed. And basically, when we talk about IFC files, we talk about IFC project, IFC site and IFC building hierarchy. In our example, IFC site is quite important because this is holding our main coordinates and those coordinates can be then shifted or edited in IFC file directly. So let's try to find our IFC site. I will search string IFC site and here we are IFC site. In this row now we have to count on the six value. So one one, two, three, four, five, and six. You have to know it. It's the six value. And let's see where we can find this value. So it reference to line 481128. And we can easily follow that this one is now referencing to 27 ending and this one again to 25. And when it comes to 481125, we can see already some coordinate values. Those are coordinates that are coming from Autodesk Revit. And because our original file is not correctly coordinated, we have to use inside our coordination model some shifting. As I showed you before, we use some values here. But how we can fix it? How we can fix it so that we don't need to use those values? Let's cancel this dialog. And for easier follow-up, I have copied those values also here. Those are values that we need to shift our main model. Come back to my IFC file and I will see that uh, I have X and Y and my Z is currently zero. We are actually changing those three values in terms of shiftings. So if you have again a look to our shifted values, you will see that uh, I need to shift my x 310. So it's a positive value. It means that this number will increase. Also y is a positive value. Again, this one should increase. And then the z value is minus. So I will use instead of zero, I will use minus 0.5. I have done some math already and um, I have calculated those correct numbers. So you can have a look that uh, if you add 310, you get 312. And also I have here minus 0 0.496. It's actually the correct value, or let's say it's almost 0 0.5, but I can use just a little bit um, smaller value here. And what I'm doing now is that I will copy those numbers and just paste 
those values in here using Ctrl V. Okay, now we will file and save as, and let's put some other name, correct it, and save. I close my file, I go back to my collaboration package in here, I will hide my current structure, I will hide it, yes, so I don't have a structure model, just a road surface, and I will start to import another IFC file that I just edited. So I will import it, I go to my desktop, I have here corrected IFC, I open it, and of course I don't want to use any shifting here anymore, because I have fixed it inside IFC file. So 000, and let's OK. What I'm now expecting is that my IFC model comes directly to correct place, and just in a moment you will see it, it is at correct place. So in this video, I demonstrated how you can fix your IFC files directly using a simple notepad workflow. And if you are wondering from where those IFC site values are coming, I mean by these X, Y, and Z, you can just um, check it using what describe it. It's a project base point. So in here it is corrected. And if I open up my Revit, and if I open up my corrected Revit model, then just recall that um, in Revit, you can have a project base point and project site. Quite often, you don't see those points or indicators. Then you have to use VG, Visibility Graphic Overrides, and you can just check if your site, like project base point and survey point, are shown or not. At the moment, I'm interested in project base point. I can click on my project base point. I can zoom a little bit. And then you can check again your coordinated IFC file that we were checking inside IFC file and that we were fixing, yes? Those values in here, in terms of X and Y, are correct values here also. As you see, it's quite an easy workflow, depending on how you can change your IFC files. If you can change it directly using Autodesk Revit, as we saw in my first video, or you can change it also inside IFC file. See you in my next video.